so this time okay so this time you got a proper lecture with a with the two bars are uh, working i hope yeah so um so first of all of course you go to wow wow not working stop this stop recording okay do another recording that that that's uh that that's the um how come I was uh, ignorant not to try, not to test? I thought I tested. Mm. So I needed to go back to this thing again. Sorry. How spun around. It's about whether it's having 100%, 125? That's not bad. No, one hundred. No, I actually do have to. Yeah, sorry. It shouldn't be. Uh, so, as you know. As you know, okay, so let me talk about something else be, before this. Uh, I want to say there's never totally creation. What I felt like it's if you understand how to recreate something from other people's idea, you probably are quite creative. Uh, imagine if I ask you, okay, create something that we have never seen. And then you might go and shake your head like how, you know? But if you create based on some ideas, then maybe, you know, with a little bit of tweaking here and there, and then, you know, nature is really fascinating, at least to me. Because today, if I have time, I'll show you some of the photos I did because uh, uh, over this, uh, uh, whatever, the weekend, because it's a Valentine and this and that, uh, I got so much of flower. I got all of them for free. I have never received. So when I took this flower, oh, um, you know, they're so fascinating, actually. You know, they're much more fascinating than I ever, you know, thought. But anyway, maybe something is inspiring you. And, and you know, and the, as I recommended the yesterday, you take photos from all different angles. So I was taking photos from underneath. So you actually see from underneath, very, very interesting. So why don't you first de develop a very sensitive eye? Because I think uh, uh, for a good designer, if you're not seeing, you're in and out, in and out, as if you somehow function as just a, I wouldn't say like a robot, but you know, we all function at some time in our life, like we ignore everything. You know, we're just rushing to school, going back, eat food, sleep, and unable, to, you know, if you are in that status, I think it's very hard to discover things. Um, so I think, uh, you know, maybe work on ourselves and see things and really see things. If I look at that piece of paper, it's a little bit of wrinkle, wrinkled, and then there's a little reflection. You never see, you never know. There are things that we don't even think now we will get inspired by those things. You know, one thing you can get inspired is, of course, you know, things that some people have already done, you know, go and look for it. But, but maybe another question to ask is, where did this idea come from? You know, if you got inspired by this idea, you might ask, where did this original idea came from? You know, so then you're not following just some other people's uh, footstep, you are creating as how they create. So, so it's about the process. So I want, yes, I don't mind you looking, you know, at other people's design as your inspiration, but, but design is all about the process. You may want to ask, where did this idea came from? For him, yeah. Um, so, um, so that's, uh, you know, that's, 
that's what we want to is it the from uh, is it the from uh, what, what do you want to look for like ideas give me a word do you have so many words give me a word that we don't know hmm? any word anything that's in your mind no any word a word no word nuclear. Huh? Nuclear. nuclear nuclear nucleus what yeah. does that mean how to how to spell yeah oh nucleus oh okay oh very interesting okay so you never know this is kind of like your drawings a bit you, you never know you know maybe you see you see something that you don't see very good this is a good word you know um uh starting from uh, the root you know as you're growing a fruit okay long uh enough of saying for this Uh, so very, mm. very. Uh, oh, this is the Barcelona rooftop I use a lot as my uh, HDR that I attach to the dome. You, you will, you, you know where to find the HDR that I have in folders, yeah, in my Google folder. Uh, I'll use this rose to start. My goodness, am I recording? I mean, Ma, am I recording? Um, I, maybe I am recording. Okay, very. So of course you go to render, yeah, and then you go to. Uh, current render and then you set to vary otherwise you don't have any vary so you click on vary you normally go to assets editor but first to look at the what's that's how first to look at the what is in here that i have it uh i'm going to set this view as a perspective okay so uh, somehow I got changed to only two views. So how, if that happened, you go to two bar layout or, or maybe I was clicking on uh, something that uh, display. Okay, another way of getting it is definitely set view. Um, set, no display. Oh, view, viewport layout. Okay, move it to four. Okay, yeah, so so how do we learn? Okay, honestly, who's going to remember all of this? You click and click and click and then you will find. Um, so uh, no need to talk too much about the modeling. Model is like this, this is a polar array. And the first is a uh, one petal or uh, I ungroup it so you will see it. So first there was one, and one is basically, this is a, a, um, a, a sub D, like a plane, and then, you know, tweak a little bit. You will watch other tutorials. No phone, no phone. You're right in front of me. Okay. Um, so, and then you do a polar array. And then you know you scale up and you do another polar array. Very easy, right? Uh, so yeah, so that's that. That's all about the modeling. And uh, let's look at the, what's in the scene. Um, I have something like a backdrop for professional. Uh,
I'm losing something on the mantle. I try to do this. Where is my uh, site view? Okay, look at them. They're all messed up. Okay, so you first have a background kind of like this, almost like in a phot photographer's studio. Yeah, I, I need how you want to create. Um, so that uh, so that when you render, you don't you don't see. Uh, I don't really have a, a view yet. Okay, you do not see. For example, if I'm happy with this view right here. Okay, if I'm happy, I'll go right click and set view, name a view, and then this this will help you to say one. Okay, so this will help you next time you you, you know you you mess around and then you will come back to the view. So, so you mess around like this, and then you go and set your view again. So this will speed up things, yeah. So, so that's basically it. And you you learned the background as a as a studio background. So you know, just so that it doesn't have to be like this. Could be you know whatever. As long as as long as it's taking the uh, the uh, some kind of a, so there's when you render you do not have a chopped you know so you covered the whole background um and uh, let's check on the assets yeah so that's what you would learn what i actually have in there and by the way this is uh, something that you need to load if you have not load uh, you want to quickly load the materials for now uh, or maybe here because otherwise you go home, you try to render, you don't have any of the material, then no fun. Okay, so um, materials have uh, this aluminum blurry, which is applied to this. Uh, metallic is in here, is in one of the metal, is the greenish metal for the leaves, which is here, right? You select this and you select the object and then you right click and you apply to selection. That's how you apply. Really only just, and then this wine red. So how does this look like? Okay, so I did the uh, work a little bit because I wanted a bit more, uh, a different, little bit different color than the original color. Cause if I show you the wine red uh, is a different color. Oh, maybe I could do later on, which is under liquid. And this is, uh, where is this one? If I add to the scene, this is just in the scene, but not applied to any materials. So you see that I changed a little bit of color. I think I changed the diffuse, which is supposed to be the original color of things. So if I make it a little bit, yeah. So if you change the diffuse, you definitely change color. Uh, and then there's one more thing about color is under refraction which is under the fog. This actually changes a lot of color. Reflection you can change, but reflection is really the, where the highlight is. Let's say I change the reflection to blue. I think there might add a little bit of tint of blue. So you see the reflection, the, the little bit become a bluish. I don't know if that might, um, that's a bit interesting. Uh, so that's reflection, that's the highlight on the material. And then the fog is actually quite interesting. Let's say I change the fog to green. See, the fog is actually changing the color, right? So, so I might just want the fog to be, or if I wanted the fog to be a little bit different, you know, so, so basically if you want to change uh, some color, you come here to the panel, you play with it. So whatever you want to play. Uh, there's a lot to learn about uh, the materials. Um, you can add a little bit of bumpy map so that material becomes a little bit more um, uh, bumpy that has a texture on it. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about the material because material, I think, material, I think you can just uh, um, play with it. It doesn't matter. What you might struggle is the light. See, here is my dome light. Uh, and uh, I have a sphere light. The sphere light is, you know, you go to Vary, 
you have a sphere light you go to light you have there's a sphere light so the sphere light is actually placed in uh inside here if you if i hide um zoom so this no i can be able to see hmm? i'm selecting uh yeah this is my sphere light yeah so this light is placed the inside of the 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 flower so um so that's the sphere light you can change the sphere light the color so uh i'm going to let's say now i'm going to change it to blue okay before you see my rendering um which is uh, which is uh, this one right so there's a yellow which light in there and this is the 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 um kind of acrylic material but we already changed the color we changed to some little bit of purplish and i'm changing the color the 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 sphere light is placed inside of the flower i'm changing it to blue so you know uh so let's uh, let's mess around a bit and then um maybe i would change one of this into a different material uh, i will change this one into what into metallic because before was uh, oh that was a metal but it was uh, was rich color was uh, the green color so now let's change it to the black chrome black apply to selection because i just selected yeah so so th this two are two different color and let's make this one gold okay we have a quite a variety of color in there uh gold color is this is gold okay apply to selection so now we have actually most of the colors are changed and the light is different um why am i keep closing my window um bad habit um so dome light yeah dome light is just uh, you drop in a dome light uh i'm going to hide this one because i don't want to in case my other dome light so if we want to see the rectangular light actually hidden is not on so uh, direct uh, the sunlight the very very sun is hidden i can turn it on you know later on or turn it on sphere light is on uh, i haven't changed the color i'm going to change it to blue blue maybe okay now it's a different color you can play with the intensity you know let's make really bright so a lot of blue coming out we'll see so sphere remember that's inside of the flower dome light is off so let's do another dome light yeah so go to very go to light and just drop in another dome light and uh, i'll drop into the top view okay just drop in anywhere will do actually it doesn't matter where just drop in so what when you drop in, you know, when you click already asking you for some kind of uh, HDR, because this is only HDR, but there's other HDR. So maybe let's go and use a different HDR. Uh, this time we're in a cooler environment, by the way, because uh, my light is uh, bluish, right? So, uh, um, here let's download a different hdr okay here is my little collection of hdr the winter forest is coolish light so i'm using this hdr um you have to make sure it's hdr not jpeg yeah uh i think this environment you know pretty much everything that's not displayed not reviewed that the, they're not that different i would use the environment not the reflection but actually none of them it, it probably doesn't matter it's just a it's just a a uh, a uh, environment light you can see how different they are so this one is hdr am i able to view ah, i guess that's okay that's actually hdr is really nothing but it gives you a light so i'm going to Copy this one. Paste it on my window side. Does it come on? 
Okay, so so here is my HDR. Yeah, it's called the winter forest. Remember that. So um, it's asking for a uh, HDR. So I'm going to attach, open, and use my winter forest. So I change this to a different lighting environment. So it's no 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 more Barcelona rooftop as warm environment. Um, so different HDR. Uh, there was a ground plane uh, is in there. If you don't want it, you can remove it, I suppose, you know, uh, you know, because I already have um, this, this uh, you know, uh, kind of a photographer's uh, background. So I may not really need that. So I might remove in, in case it's halfway hovering, but I think it's not in my view anyway. So I won't bother. And I did have this, uh, this is the right, if you look at the floor plan, here is a giant rectangular light, but later on, I'm going to use this light, but not now, now it's off actually. So coming into this view, uh, there's one thing you should know is, um, you can hide the light. So any light, for example, I have a big giant rectangular light in front of a view, blocking my view actually. So what you do is you go to option and then you can make the light invisible. So uh, you can play with the shadow and if you become a very, very sophisticated, you can do that. Um, so, you, but, but at least you want it invisible because if you don't, it's very possible. I mean, first of all, you see a big square, which sometimes you don't, right? So, and also sometimes uh, if uh, it could block your view, you know? So I normally check them invisible unless I want to see them, you know? Uh, okay, so let's render. Yeah, so um, I keep doing this, yeah. Uh, but before that, let's check the output size. Uh, 800, which is fine. And I'm checking it as a square, which is fine. Uh, yeah, so basically this, maybe moving a little bit. You know, this one, I'm not playing with the camera because it's a very simple view. Uh, and uh, yeah, and the uh, render. And when you render, I'm cut. Here, here. So remember, my light was a very dim. Yeah, uh, this light is a bit too dim, uh, but it's interesting if that's what you like. So the light inside is blue. The color is different. It's gold. So, but the light is very dim. I don't want this one. So clearly, my HDR is way too dim, uh, or this HDR doesn't function as the other HDR. That has the uh, is this my H is this my HDR? Let's check. Um, go to property. Um, see the detail and see what this one is actually. What is this one? Ah, this is a uh, this is HDR. Uh, the 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 dome light. Um, maybe I changed the intensity because intensity was 10, but was too dim. Make it the 39 and then, and then render it again. Yeah, because clearly some, some HDR has more light, some was quite dim. So now if I change and uh, if I render, it doesn't change much. If it doesn't change much, much is that because it's underneath my uh, my um, is below my surface, you know? Oh, it's possible that's below the 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 surface somewhat. So maybe you want to uh, move things up, or is it because it's going in different direction? Because if that's my first HDR was. Uh, you, you know, the HDR, you could work with HDR as this is the other HDR is right here, right? Intensity was only set at as one. So, but this HDR was off, I believe. 
um, yeah, this dome was no. Oh, the one was on. So I'm 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 making mistake. Which one? The thirty nine was uh was actually. So I didn't. The, the reason I did not uh, see any difference was because this one was on but didn't change intensity as one. The thirty nine was actually off. So what is this map? Check. Okay. So. So probably it's not about the intensity, but about my mistake. This light on, this dome is only S1. So it actually really doesn't matter. And there's no light applied to it. There's no light. Yeah, so it doesn't matter as a one or as what. So anyway, turn this one off. And now let's render. So. Now I fix the problem. Oh, by the way, if you see a little red dot, it means it's continuing run, continue rendering. You may want to close that one off. Ah, so it's already overexposed. So yeah, so it's already overexposed, by the way. Yeah, you, you would uh, sort of feel, I mean, unless that's what you like, but normally I consider this one because a lot of the darkness and uh, uh, lost the definition. So if we want a bit, but if, if that's especially artistic rendering, maybe that's what, what you really want. So let's move the intensity for less. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then render it again. You know, now it has a bit color to it. We can keep moving the intensity and test. So that's what you do is you do test. Stop. Remember again. So maybe maybe that's what you really like. Maybe this time is better, you know, a bit, bit more artistic. Um, So, and of course you can render uh, with a different uh, rendering engine, what we call. So, um, so what, what am I rendering now with, um, there's a different way of rendering, oh, I'm not so sure. Hmm? No, it's not this one. This is uh, just which, which. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. Save. Uh, by the way, once you render, let's say you close it. Yeah. You, you still have the image right here. Is this button right here? The one next to it, to this little teapot. The one next to it. So you click on it, and then the image is still here, actually. Um, and then you click on save. Yeah. So if you save for my, you can save as a PNG, you know. Um, let's say I say PNG. See? So basically, this is saved, but I could also do. Uh, uh, sometimes you don't need to worry about your HDR. Let's say it doesn't uh, come out correctly. It's all twisted. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is the new one, I believe. Uh, if that's the case, what you can do is you can do Photoshop. Um, I'll show you. So if I remove my... Uh, theater type of a background okay this big background not not the not the light this by the way is a rectangular light if i remove this okay and then you can see I, I have no more background yeah but i should have some kind of hdr in there the the dome actually functions so let's render should still render but the my, my look a bit weird because the background uh, is showing whatever the winter forest or something. I'm not rendering, am I rendering? Okay, now it's rendered. Is it? 
Am I wrong? Ah, uh, interactive. No, I don't want the interactive. Okay. Stop. Yes. Okay. I click down the wrong one. So somehow I was doing interactive, maybe. Uh, let's close on this. Wait a second. I, don't, I think maybe because I changed to see the other rendering. So let's go back to CPU. Uh, render with Vary. Yeah, now I render, I should not see the background. So now you still see this as a white. Then, then it's not my theater, you know, not, not my studio background, but it's the HDR. Um, yeah, so good good with this. Yeah. Uh, if that's the case, let's say you're done, and now I'm going to save, and then let's say you save as a PNG, uh, your background may not even show. I'm calling it two. And uh, because PNG has a transparent, so you should be able to see something that without background. And then you can put in any background as you wish. Uh, where's my number two? So uh, it's this one. So this one, if I do, I make a copy. We will open it in Photoshop and see. And hopefully, uh, you know, uh, the worst case, you you mess around a bit. You should you should see only the image without any any background. You should be able to do that. In that case, you you it's just like a silhouette. You can put into any um, any background as you wish. Yeah, so this one actually does have uh, the white background, I think. Ah, so this one is not. So maybe we could uh, uh, save it as a different, um, with a different channel. When you save it, there's the option. Uh, what you can save as a, what? TGA maybe? That removed the, uh, and you can also save for different channel, something like that. Save current channel or RGB channel. What if you save as alpha channel? Hmm? No alpha channel, but but it's possible you actually have an alpha channel. So um, the alpha channel, because I think I maybe my dome still functions as a, as a, as as a, the the background. There's a still background in there. So possibly have only a silhouette. I don't feel like I needed to explain too much on this. You, sh you, you understand the image editing, right? Photoshop, yeah. Um, and then this big light right here, uh, I, I'll use a different file to explain this. Okay, now I'm a bit too long. I'm going to show you this. Okay, pause recording. 